Fred, 88, which I don't have on my list. And then we've got the 72 of Evan Ritchie. The 181 is Lee Hills. Won a couple of times this year. The 13 is our chalk man, Casey Huffman. And the 26 is Dave Patton. 06 down low was doing a good job blocking that inside group as McDonald tried to get underneath. The 06 of Al Van Every was the first one. After he kicks it sideways in turn number two. Meanwhile, we have a spin by the 818 of Lee Hill. Jesse McDonald's got one of those tires locked up under the 88. There he spits it out and gets back going. The, eight, the red 88, Dale Cookie. Call him the Cookie Monster tonight, the 88. As he does a little slamming and banging there in corner two. Yeah, this guy's not sure if you're having fun or not out there. Looks like a blast. That 06 car. Well, Van Ever, your leader. He's got the tow bar running right through the uh, windows so they can just scoop it up, take it home. Stephen Hill's power move to the outside in the five car, but he can't make that spin. This 81 on the inside, this prelude looking car, making some good runs in that 81. But look at the leader, how sideways he is off the turn. Your first ever fun stock winner, the 81 of Carl Salt right there in second spot. He won the first week when they ran on the big oval, so he'd like to get his first ever victory on the infield oval. He's working right there in the back end of Van Every trying to make that high line work. Well, Van Every certainly gets loose down here. Not sure if Van Every's pulling on the e-brake or what, but that car really kicks it out when he gets down into turn one and two. Right about here, really pushes that rear end out, and Van Every can't get around. We're going to try and make the pass here back into three and four. Carl Salt to the outside will try and make this run work. Can he get a run off the fourth corner? They're side by side of the line. Van Every led that lap, but here comes Salt really throwing it in high. Yeah, Van Every's got to be on the e-brake through the turns. I had never seen a car get through the turns so good. Once he gets rolling there, and now is that Casey with problems? Casey Hoffman coming to rest up here in the front stretch. We won't see yellow flags as long as they are uh, burning up in fire, I guess. We just keep going. What a battle out here as Salt finally gets around Van Every for the lead, but he's going to come up on hills in the 8-18. That is a hill. That's a good guess. It's got an eight and a one on it, right? It's got an eight and a one. It's <laughs> got to be a hill. It's got to be from Dundas. All right. That's not true because our leader is not a hill and he's not from Dundas. Oh, you're right. Here's Carl Salt working on the back end of that 818, the lap car. Van Every in second and a nice run right now on that 22 car of Trevor DeBoer. Salt, Van Every, and look at this the 22 car getting up in the second now. 18 told to get out of the way. He does so. Beating and banging through three, or through corner two, rather. The 88 from McDonald gets by Richie. Yeah, McDonald, Jesse McDonald in the 88 is making up some ground. He's up in the third now, trying to catch that 22. McDonald's got go kart and mini stock experience. So it's Salt, your leader, then it's DeBoer and McDonald. And the 06 of Van Every or Pulse that are now slipped back to the fourth spot. Jesse McDonald trying to get underneath the 22 for second place as Salt might have a flat right front or a bad push in three and four. Both tires look fine on the right side. Having a look to the left, they look okay for Salt, but he's got an awful push, like you said. He's doing all he can to keep it on the track off the four. He continues to lead over DeBoer. Five laps to go. DeBoer also having handling problems. That's allowed McDonald to reel right up on the inside of DeBoer, try and make the pass now. As they come down the back straightaway, McDonald will be even with DeBoer. So across the line, Salt again works on the back end of the 18, and now the yellow flag will come out. That should be very interesting. For real leaders. Bumps them back up. McDonald in the second spot. Now, these guys don't have race receivers, I don't believe, so we're just hoping they see the yellow. 
So the yellow will come out, they'll line them up. Flag racing with under five laps to settle it. McDonald gives a little love tap before they get into four. Green flag in the air. Someone points the finger at McDonald. Now watch for Jesse McDonald trying it low. Oh, he makes contact with Salt. Somehow Salt holds on. DeBoer goes through the infield, still has third. And here comes McDonald down to the inside of Salt. They're side by side of the line. Well, Salt still got that push to the EDE to McDonald, really hugs the rail. That allows him to get down lower. And it is a horsepower battle down the back straightaway. Coming out of corner four in the closing laps here this Friday night, fun stock feature. Salt drops it off the banking in corner four, and that allows McDonald to open up the door and slide in. Here comes Salt down to the inside. Yeah, McDonald, I think, yeah, he cut down the right front that time through turns one and two. That allows first and second to get through. Tough break for Jesse McDonald with two laps to go. So Carl Salt back to the top spot. Trevor DeBoer now in the second. Heartbreak for Jesse McDonald for the second time. He's the only driver to win once on the big track, once on the small track. Carl Salt, your winner of the Friday Fun Stock feature. I believe the 181 of Lee Hill for second, 22, Trevor DeBoer was third. And it looks like we got some extra crypto activity. 26 and 88 ramming each other pretty good there on the cool down lap. Okay, we're down here with our Friday Night Fun Stock feature winner, Carl Salt. Carl, you got the week one feature win on the big track, but this is your first feature win on the small track. How did it work out for you? Worked out all right. It was a tough week, too. His dad passed away on a Monday on the here. This is from my dad. He's looking down at me. <laughs> well, congratulations on your feature win, Carl. So an emotional week for Carl Salt, but uh, caps it off with a victory and a touching moment in victory lane. And he becomes a two-time winner in the Friday Night Fun Stock Division. He's got a win on the big track, a win on the small track. What a better way to cap off the mid-season championship, getting the first win and now the mid-season one. And uh, Carl will be right up there in the point standings once again here in the Friday Fun Stock Division. Well, we're going to call out our lucky program numbers now. So get your programs ready as we're heading into a brief intermission. Four. And Greg, Carl's going to do a uh, memorial victory lap in honor of his uh, father, David, who passed away this week. It's a nice touching moment for, uh, for Carl. And it's... Uh, Nice when that can happen, when you have a tragedy happen and then uh, the driver gets back to victory lane. We've seen that uh, many times in racing. So a nice salute there and a round of applause, folks. Congratulations to Carl Salt. 